as well you will see how I made it balanese bechamel lasagna cheese and this is parmigiana cheese mozzarella cheese and it's a feta cheese my Italian friends don't get too excited yes I'm using feta cheese in my lasagna that's my own twist and I've been using I've been cooking lasagna for many years and what I did learn when I used the Feta cheese, it gives beautiful, amazing compliment to your lasagna. Your lasagna becoming more creamy, and the taste is absolutely amazing. You better try. Okay, so let's start. So, how do I start? This is your tray for the lasagna. You put what I do, because the lasagna is a, it's a fresh sheet, but I mean, so I put a little bit of water, like this. Just very little, okay? Very little, not much. On, like just a little bit, drizzle of the water. And I take a little bit scoop of your bolognese meat sauce and I put like this, okay? So that's what I do. We do like this, okay? A little bit more, not much. So now, and do you know why we're doing this? that your lasagna sheets won't stick to the, to the pan, okay? That's why. Now we're using lasagna. So, see the lasagna sheets? What I do, I cut the, the corners because you don't want them to get burned, you know? I like when lasagna comes out beautiful because if you don't cut them, it will be sticking out, so you don't want that, okay? So, you put like this. The same way you do to this, guys. You cut the corners, you cut the corners, and then you put it, okay? So here, you can put them here, put those pieces, like this. You don't want to waste anything, so you put those pieces here, and right here. Okay, now another piece. So it's a little bit short, what I do, I cut, okay? I cut, and again, from one side, I cut those corners, okay? So you can put it back. That's how you do it, okay? Perfect. So now, what goes first? The first, so this lasagna has no mushrooms, okay? Sometimes I do with the mushrooms. So if you do with the mushrooms, you put mushrooms after the bolognese sauce, just a little bit. That's a great compliment too, to your lasagna. But this time, there's no mushrooms. Okay, two scoops. I wouldn't put too much. You don't want your lasagna to be too busy, right? So two scoops is perfectly enough. So I would say it's two cups, okay? It's two cups. Some people like to put a little bit more sauce, it's more meat, but it's up to you. But you don't, even if you don't want to make lasagna with the meat, you can make with the vegetables. It's a great, um, I make another lasagna, it's a, spinach with the ricotta cheese a great one so doesn't have to be meat lasagna spinach in it and um, cheese is great okay so you put like this very little that's perfect and now what i do this is my uh, this is my white sauce bechamel sauce what i do i put a little bit really little you don't need to put much what it does to your lasagna your lasagna becoming more creamier Okay, so I put bechamel sauce on the top of your bolognese sauce. Now it's time for your cheeses. This one is the feta cheese. It gives absolutely amazing taste. 
okay so I put like this not much you don't need to put this much sometimes you know what else I put amazing taste absolutely amazing taste it's a gold cheese I put a little bit of gold cheese with the feather cheese as you can die for so good so juicy absolutely amazing this is your parmesan cheese not much don't put too much, too much. and this is your mozzarella cheese okay so with that that's good now this next layer okay same way i cut the corners that prevent them from burning you do one and this one has to cut has to go here this way and the needle one right okay perfect you can put them back like this you don't want to waste anything so great the same way you take your balanese i would say this one is like one cup two cups you need two cups okay so two cups not too much and because you have to fill the pasta too not just meat and so you put like this next time i will show you how i make a nasa lasagna absolutely amazing with um it's um mozzarella cheese and it's ricotta cheese and spinach it's absolutely delicious it's for someone who doesn't like me which is good okay like that now it's a bechamel sauce see a little bit so what i do i put a little bit i just don't put much just everywhere just a little bit it will your lasagna will become more creamier absolutely amazing amazing taste not much okay like this perfect i think i need a little bit of balanes okay okay perfect now cheese time that's your feta cheese your feta cheese goes beautiful parmigiana just a little bit more. and mozzarella perfect now the same procedure we are doing for the next one cutting the corners okay cutting the corners and um, cutting the corners guys and the middle one okay excellent so this one okay I just don't want to waste pasta so I'm going to put a little bit here and a little bit here, not to waste. Same procedure, bolognese, bolognese sauce, two cups, great, and you do like this, okay? This is your sauce, you do like this, okay? Sauce, just a little bit, just kind of like, see like, a little bit here, a little bit there, not much. This is your feta cheese. Okay. It's your feta cheese. And your parmigiana cheese. Mozzarella cheese in there. Okay, now, what's important, I want to show you something what's very, very important. Okay, that's that. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So, now, what's important, this is water, because your pasta is not cooked, is not boiled. So, I put a little bit of water in the corners, only in the corners. This way, it will will prevent from burning you know it won't it will be really nice and soft and beautiful lasagna so just in the end see what i do in the end you put a little bit of water okay just in the end that's it it's done oh what else is important so now what i'm going to do i'm going to put 350 degree for 45 minutes exactly 45 minutes okay so also 
what's important, I'm going to cover it. Okay, I'm going to cover it with onion. And what else is important? So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil here, and I will tell you why. Why I'm doing this? Like this, just a little bit, right? And I will tell you why. Because when you're going to cover your lasagna, so the cheese wouldn't stick to the foil paper. Okay? That's it. Okay, guys, now your lasagna is ready. And now it's time to cut. Okay? So I'll show you how beautiful it is. That's the lasagna. Look how beautiful it's so hot. Okay, so I'm going to cut and put on the plate, and then I will show you. So, I like big pieces. It's nice and soft. See what I do? See? Look how beautiful it is. Look. I just want you to see how soft it is. Look at this. Look how soft and beautiful and juicy. I want you to look. See? It's time for us to try. I want you to I want to show you how juicy it is. Look. How beautiful and juicy it is. Look. See how beautiful and it's nice and soft. Okay, so now it's time to try. Let's see. Mm. It's so good. It's so delicious. I feel feta cheese and mozzarella and the Parmigiano cheese. Absolutely delicious. Mm. It's so creamy. It's just melting in the mouth. It's absolutely, absolutely delicious. Very delicious. And I just want to say, you guys now try. Now you know how to make it. And thank you so much for watching me. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time on my cooking shows. Bye! And I think to myself, what a wonderful What a wonderful world